just, you just happen to have a blowtorch with you. I need this for work, man. I ain't got no job. Oh, you old boys, man. Why, why, why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't want you clowning me, man. I didn't tell anybody. Man, I didn't even tell the people on my job. Oh, damn. Tommy, don't uh -huh. be lying, man, about having a damn job, Tommy. That's right. That's Meanwhile, right. why don't you give me your resume, OK? I'll take it to work with me. See, we got some openings coming up. You Tommy, know, man, no, no, man come on, man. You know you ain't got no job, man. Come on. <laughs> man, look, if you can't find any work, I'll put in a good word for you at my job, man. You ain't got no job, man. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing when you let your nuts what to do everyday people man it's your boy pj today we back with another lit video back in the confessional and yeah we staying lit big dog hey shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day and shout out to the homie lucky wheels of deals man he keeping it lit over there man litty in the city big dog hey y'all go subscribe to him at lucky wheels and deals man where we keeping it lit yay that's that that's that bay area player stuff man y'all know nothing about that anyway Hey, shout out to the uh, So Cool fan, Wolfpack and Cool Kids. And y'all see who we got on the screen. Big PRP night. I mean, <laughs> I did it again. Man, it just it's just the Nike wig. The Nike wig is getting me, dog. And we got big royalty on the screen, okay? Shout out to the royalty mites and the rats. They are sucking and chewing on Rico's hair, big dog. Hey, shout out to the rats. And the mice, they choo-chooing on the wood. Anyway, man, y'all keeping it lit. Y'all disrespectful heifers is all in the comments being very, very bad. I appreciate all y'all's rude comments, okay? Keep watching the videos because I know y'all love it. Anyway, for all the everyday people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Before I forget, because I love my ladies. Shout out to Anta High and the Squad. Review that with this and you so glamorous, man. These three young ladies. It's putting on for everybody, okay? Make sure y'all go subscribe to these ladies. The, uh, the links is in the bio, okay? But when you subscribe to Anti Hyenas channel, make sure you screenshot the channel that you subscribe and send me a message, Everyday Thing with PJ on Instagram, and I will enter you to win. A free pair of exclusive women's shoes from the Sneakers app, okay? This is going down for you ladies. I'm telling you, man. This is a free giveaway. You don't have to pay anything to join. Just subscribe to Anti Hyena Squad's channel, man. And make sure you send me that message that you subscribed. If you don't send me the message, I won't know that you subscribed, okay? All right? That's, that's, that's what it is. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to get y'all lit. Get y'all shoe game on point. I know it's a few ladies out here that got their shoe game on point. So I know y'all probably already going to get the shoes or already waiting to get the shoes because little women's shoes is cheap. I'll buy one a month if I could. Anyway, um, let's get into it, man. Uh, big royalty is <laughs> taking the kids to work day. Let's get into it, man. You know what you're talking about. Let's, I'm, I'm going to get my commentary because it's about to be some mess. Some mess for the streets. Let's get into it. I'm not going to hold you. Got to get ready for school tomorrow. As a matter of fact, I heard it was take your child to work day. I haven't heard that in like a very long time. I remember when I was younger, I used to go to work with my mom. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, you went to work with your mom. I... I, uh, allegedly, I thought your mama was a janitor. You know what I'm saying? What'd you do? Ride around on the cart with the broom and <laughs> She like, baby, get those trash bags out there and help me put these liners on all the road. <laughs> I bet that was a fun job. You know, riding up and down the elevator, holding on to the cart while mama pushed it. You know what I'm saying? And wax on and waxing off those mirrors. <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot. Oh, no, nah, yo, I think your mama was a nurse. That probably was nice. Going to the hospital with with mom because she was a nurse. That was probably enjoyable. I don't know if I don't know if it was take your kid to work day. I think it was just she couldn't find a babysitter day. <laughs> Which was every day because the daddy was out of the way. Look at ass. <laughs> Stop playing, man. Hey, I heard a joke on Trick Daddy and CJ So Cools. 
They call they call their daddy old boy. <laughs> Where's old boy? You could why she mama had to take you to work because old boy wasn't here. Good lord. Woo. Let's get back into it. So um, leave a comment down below if you guys are participating in Take Your Child to Work Day. Do you guys want to come with me to work tomorrow? Where are they going to go? To the living room or to the kitchen where you YouTube every day? You ain't got no job, Tommy. <laughs> you ain't punched the clock in eight years since you've been with CJ. Stop the cap, dog. Or maybe you did when you was punching the clock when y'all first got together. So, yeah, about eight years you ain't punched the clock. Remember, queens don't work, dog. <laughs> Where you gonna take her to that office space? Oh, no, it ain't even an office space. It's just a workspace. You workspace in your living room. You gotta tell all the kids to shut up <laughs> while you in a business meeting. <laughs> <laughs> you get a business meeting with the back office of passes because your photo, your photos won't upload. <laughs> Where are you going to work at? Uh, okay, kids, let's go to the fair again. <laughs> Mommy about to go to work. Record on YouTube. Stop the cap. What is we doing? Jesus Christ, man. I don't know. Let me find out. I, I guess we're going to find out where her job is. I don't know because... You know what I'm saying? If it's in the room right next to the love jar and the uh and the royalty of Queen's hair products or uh, makeup products, if that's work, man, work is kind of slow. You know what I'm saying? Did anybody order any of that royalty of Queen's yet? I told y'all to go support your girl. Y'all need to go support her. Get them stuffs off the shelf before they get old. Don't make up get old. Jesus Christ, I need to stop the cat. Where are we going to work at? <laughs> you might if you don't wake up. What about you, Julia? You coming to work? Oh, yeah. Now, you know dang well she ain't missing no school for work. Look at that. She's suspended. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Nation, what about you? Nation, are you coming to work with me tomorrow? Nation! A I'm lot of people. I'm trying to figure out where this work is going to be because according to your YouTube, this is your job, or are they gonna be shooting the? Are they gonna be the ones shooting the videos for your uh passes <laughs> or to shoot the pictures? If you bring your kids to do that, listen, listen, we are gonna have CPS at the door again. Anyway, speaking of passes, like I'm gonna tell y'all this. I'm gonna tell y'all for a fact. I know somebody who was like, man, first I just started selling feet pics on OnlyFans first started selling feed pics and then the money was getting good and people was like let, let me see your nip let me see your belly button let me see your lips and it just got more and the money just got more and more and she said it got addicting and full <laughs> eventually now she's full body to showing everything she retired from work she retired from a regular job which is good but she you know it started from just feet pics so royalty, I don't know. I don't know. People start to throw out that money when, when somebody say, "Let me get 10k for some coochie lips." <laughs> the pastrami is coming out, okay? <laughs> the roast beef will be falling off the buns, and we gonna find out. Cause uh, as soon as those pictures up, yeah, let's get to it. Are you coming to work with me tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Where I said sweep all work? the stuff right here, Leon. Look at all this stuff. Sweep that, Lee, sir. What's up, Royalty Nation? It's me, Royalty. Happy Thursday to you all. I all right, I think she's in her work attire, which is these spaghetti strap shirts. Her uh, Nike wig is coming down. It's flowing. She still got on this Gucci bandana looking like Soldier Boy running around with that Gucci bandana on for a week. I guess it's take your child to work day today. The only kid that I have that did not want to participate in this was Leon. So he's the only one that went to school. Well, Julia, she had to participate. She had I, I don't think you should be keeping your kids out of school. Matter of fact, I was just thinking... Why would your mama take you to work and, and not school? Girl, you needed school. <laughs> Allegedly, you ain't passed the eighth grade. Come on, man. Hey, you know what would be a fun and exciting video? I want to see you get your GED. 
I want it, that will be the best. You know what? I'm going to tell you why. I think it's important that you show somebody that you got your GED. It's because so many people look up to you, okay? And it's a lot of royalty mites out here that's dumb as a box of rocks, okay? And they need to get theirs too. They think that you, just because you didn't go to school, they can make it and they'll be fine. No, it don't work like that. Everybody ain't going to make it. You understand what I'm saying? And shout out to Nothing But Lies for getting her, uh, <laughs> her associate's degree and a terrible degree, a uh, terrible subject. But anyway, uh, but I went to I went to school. I, I graduated high school on time and uh, I graduated college. But I went to college specifically because, you know, I went and got in some trouble back in the day. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to show my kids that you can be a failure. You know what I'm saying? Just I don't want I want to show them that things can't hold you back. Uh, once you be put in a situation, you can prosper. And I wanted to raise the bar for my kids. I had I had to. Somebody had to. Cause my my baby mamas ain't you know them dust dirt bags ain't gonna do it. But anyway, um, I had to go to college and finish and get my bachelor's degree. You know why? Cause I wanted to raise the bar for them. Cause if I could do it. With everything that I had going on in my life, they could do it too. And they have better resources, better parents. Well, we, I ain't better than my parents, but better, you know what I'm saying? Like graduating college and they can look up, look forward to something and have something to accomplish. So now my daughter is going to college right now. Yeah. Well, she actually about to graduate, but she already enrolled in college, big dog. Yeah, so shout out to my daughter for that. You know what I'm saying? That's a big accomplishment. I'm happy for that. And that royalty is why I think you should finish your uh, high school diploma. Show your kids that it doesn't matter how big you can get, you can always accomplish something. You know what I'm saying? And one thing you need to accomplish is high schools, okay? That's, that's what it is. I had to stay home because she was, you know, the situation that's going on with her. But um, yeah, I hope everybody's having a good, wonderful, positive day. And I actually wanna share something with you guys since I told you guys, I don't know how many days has it been Hold on, let me ask you. Uh, I know you ain't finna talk about this love jar. Good lord. Right. If you guys have been keeping up with me and the kids, you, as you guys know, we've been doing it this rice experiment. If you guys have not checked out that video, you need to go back and check out that video. It has a lot of explanatory things. I'm finna skip past this nonsense because don't nobody care about this love hate jar. There is mold in the hate jar. Yeah, like, and this is the hate jar. That's the only spot that I do see it in, but, um, this one is actually growing stuff out of it, and this is the hate jar. So we're gonna go That's check on nasty. the love jar, and the love jar is actually doing the total opposite. It's actually stayed the same. So let me go show you guys the love jar. And here we have our love jar, and it is totally the same. Like there's no mold, there's no nothing. There's like nothing growing at it's all. Yellow like one. It's yellow. It's like. It's still the same. So that's what the whole experiment was about, guys, to show you how powerful your words are. And by the looks of it, guys, I'm starting to believe, well, I already know, but it was just more of an experiment for you guys and just to show you physically how strong your words are. So let me go ahead and speak some love into this jar. I love you, you are beautiful, and you are positive. Let me speak some love. <laughs> let me speak my three words, all right? Royalty. Your your hair looks beautiful like Nike's, you know. <laughs> so yes, your words, I could do mean, it. words mean a lot. Things that you I put into the it. world, things that you put into the universe, they do come into existence. You do speak things into existence. So you just might want to, you know, rethink how you think things and how you make them come out of your mouth because it really affects you. It affects your life and it affects people around you. Boy, that is the best word she could have ever said, but don't try to use that at your boss at a seminar because I'm not paying for you to tell me that, okay? So, we're going to go over here to this. You are evil. You are hateful. Wait, wait. I, why are we speaking to the hate jar? If you just said the, your words are powerful and the things that come out your mouth, well, I, I don't understand. What, what? Why would you even speak hate? Let's not even do the hate jar. I don't want to spout because you know I ain't finna say nothing nice. So you Nation, maybe you guys should watch myself. what you guys say because sometimes.
Here's one thing you need to do before buying. People's, it affects things and it might even affect you. But luckily, I am thankful when for- When are you gonna take these kids to work? Got this child. But luckily, I'm very thankful for a mother to raise a very strong woman. So anything you guys really say, I really, it really don't bother me. I really don't hear it. It goes in one ear and air out the other. I don't even really see it, but. It go in one ear and out the other because you ain't got a brain. Jesus Christ, this girl. Take my kids to work day. It's at the pool. I told y'all this is some BS. How can, you ain't got no job, Tommy. Everyday people, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace. <laughs>